Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today we're gonna to be unboxing and reviewing the Paxis Electric Pressure Washer. They did send me this product review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this item, the link to it will be in my video description below. Please go ahead, check it out, and do your shopping from there. Here's how it comes packaged to you in a nice retail box. It's a pressure washer. It's used for cleaning vehicles, exterior siding, driveways and sidewalks, your deck and patio, and outdoor furniture and whatever else you can think of. This model is an 1800 watt motor, 2150 PSI, 1.85 gallons per minute. Comes with a 26 foot hose and a 33 foot power cord. Let's go ahead and open it up. Here are all the package contents. As you can see, we got a lot of different parts to work with here. We have an owner's manual. We have an assembly guide right here. We have some screws, couple different pieces of plastic. You can see this is a handle. We're gonna have to use all that and assemble it with this electric pressure washer. We have your gun right here. We have your hose reel and your 26 foot high pressure hose. Now let's look a little closer at the electric pressure washer. So the Paxis base unit looks really nice to this pressure washer. We got your GFI plug right here with your 33 foot power cable. Love the orange and black contrast right here with the color. We have your off and on switch right there. The wheels are really nice too. They're made of plastic. Everything looks cool, pretty durable. This is a really lightweight unit compared to your conventional gas powered pressure washer. So it's gonna be highly portable and there you can kind of see it from the back too where you can attach your hose and we even have a detergent bay right here if you want to put some soap in there so this looks really great guys let's go ahead let's get everything assembled first up guys we're going to assemble the hose reel right here so i got a phillips head screwdriver there are arrows pointing to each side in which spots need screws so go ahead just drop them down in there like that and gently tighten them in Place and repeat this three more times, two on each side, and then right there and right there again, just follow those little arrows. Now that we got all four screws fastened, we're gonna go ahead and take these caps and put them in place just like this on both sides. And we're gonna work on installing this on the handle right there. So it's gonna go in just like this. And then we're gonna line these up and we're gonna use four more screws. So in the end, it'll look just like that. And you can see from the overhead camera, we got to put four screws in place right there. So I got four in that same Phillips head screwdriver to get them all attached. Once you have those four screws tightened down, you can go ahead and attach the handle as well. You just line it up with the open spot right there you can see on the side and then you just push it and it'll snap right into place. Next up, you're gonna take the assembled handle unit and slide it right over the front of the base unit and we have the last two remaining screws to put them right here and right here to get it securely fastened into place. Really quick too, on to show you guys for the gun installation, you just tighten this piece on right there and everything will be all good to go and ready to use this outside with it powered on and water running through it. Wanted to show you guys too the very tip of the gun where you can go wider or bring it back in narrower for the field of spray. And then we can adjust this to it's in right now, we can push it out or back in. The last thing we have to install is the lance holder right here. So we just go ahead, slide it right down and it's installed on the unit. The last piece of plastic we have too is a little hose clip if you want to use that. Now let's power it on and test it out. We're outside on my deck right now, which we're gonna power wash in a second. Just wanna show you it with everything set up. It looks really nice. I even put the hose on the reel for you guys there as well, so you can see that. Here's the little hook for the power cord as well to wind it up when you're done. The on and off again, everything looks nice. You just go ahead and you plug that right in there and then you plug the other end into the gun you see right here. I did notice when I put the gun in the little holder, you can see it hits the ground first, it hits the deck before it rests completely into the ground. So it'd be nice to see in the future, maybe this could be moved up just a smidge more so it's not hitting the ground before it needs to, but that's not a big deal because you can see once we tip it and roll it, it's not gonna have any problems or cause us any issues. Now we can kind of just look at our deck really quick to see what it's gonna look like when we're done. We're gonna clean this door off too. It's really muddy, even with the trim along it too. So I'm excited to give this all a good clean. 
We have plenty of cobwebs and spider webs along the side of our house as well too that we're gonna be sure to clean up with the pressure washer. So now let's go ahead, let's get a hose. We're gonna plug it right into there and power everything up. Now you can see I got the hose attached to it. It's not dripping or leaking at all. When I first attached the hose, it was leaking right out here, but that's because I did not have this metal piece tight to the plastic threads in the back. So now that it's tight, nothing's leaking. This is under pressure right now. There is a bunch of water in this line, so we're ready now to start cleaning with it. So we have the power washer on right now. You can't hear it because it's electric and it's really nice, so it won't start making any noise until I hit the trigger. There we go. We can change the stream. So that looks great. And then we can even go out if we want to use it more like a hose. And then we can go back to high power. All right, I've been power washing for a couple of minutes. You can see on the left side right here is where it's been power washed and to the right where it has not been power washed. So it definitely makes a difference in removing the dirt. I want to say initially it's not as powerful as a gas powered pressure washer. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the camera, but my deck still looks a little bit dirty right here, even though I pressure washed this whole area. Now that could be a little bit of the paint. That could be because my deck is really dirty, but I also have it on a really powerful setting from the nozzle. And why I know it's powerful, because you can see right here, it even stripped some of my paint. But the deck still just looks a little dirty right here, even though if I got any closer, any more powerful, this is what starts to happen. So you can see a little bit more right there. But overall, I mean, it's definitely cleaner. This is really nice to have just around your house to maybe clean your siding. My siding looks a lot better. There are a bunch of cobwebs and stuff right there. The door has improved too. I did notice some areas where it still didn't get it all completely, and maybe I'm being picky, but even down here it had some trouble with that. But I mean, it's better. I did pressure wash this area. Now this is a highly trafficked area on our deck and you can see it still looks dirty, that's how bad it is. But again, any closer, any more powerful, it starts to take the paint off. So just something to keep in mind, this was pressure washed right here, but it is still dirty and it has the appearance of dirt on it. But again, we go out of this hundreds of times in a year. So that's just gonna be the natural wear and tear on the deck in the paint too. But just something to keep in mind, it's not gonna be as powerful as a gas operated pressure washer, but it's really nice, really convenient. Don't have to pull start it, anybody can use it. Perfect again, just to clean your doors, your siding and anything else along those lines. You can even see it again, some of the contrast between the clean spots and the dirty spots of the deck and great for railings and everything else as well. Thank you guys so much for watching my review video of the Paxess electric pressure washer. If you're interested in the product, the link to it will be in my video description below. Please go ahead and check it out. Hit that like button for us. Subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and don't want you guys to miss anything. Feel free to reach out with any questions, comments, or concerns. We'd be happy to answer them for you or point you in the right direction. Give us a follow on social media as well. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can message us on WeChat. Check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here and I can't wait to see you in our next video.